Hey friends and neighbors, T-Bone and Boo back with you and after departing a casino parking lot we stayed the night in, we headed north on Highway 93. Uh, first stop we pulled off at a scenic overlook. From this vantage point we did a little drone practice after I did some drone repair work at one of our last campsites. And we took in the beautiful view of the McDonald Peak and surrounding mountain ranges that you could see from Highway 93. This pull-off was just south of the town of Ronan uh, as we were headed north towards uh, Flathead Lake. Just some uh, unbelievable views. Of course, we always like the, the danger rattlesnake signs being from South Texas, but anyway, we got to mess with the drone a little bit and try some things out, so it worked out really well. Said they made these underpasses for the wildlife so they can go under the main highway. So we got back on Highway 93, headed northbound, and went through the town of Ronan and just took in all the unbelievable scenery on both sides of the highway with the mountains and the, the lush pastures and grasslands and everything. Just really unbelievable views and popped over the hill and there was Flathead Lake. Uh, Flathead Lake is one of the largest natural lakes in Montana and this part of the country. And it's just unbelievable blue colors. Uh, it's 27 miles long and there's roads that go both on the west side and the east side. We're on Highway 93, which runs along the west side of the lake as we're headed northbound. And uh, we just took in all the views and, and the small towns we were going through as we were headed up to uh, uh, Montana State Campground that we were going to stay the night at. Uh, just absolutely gorgeous views of this lake. Uh, marinas, uh, small communities right down on the water. Just really great stuff. So the state park that we decided to stay at that night was uh, the Big Arm State Park. It was one of six state parks that Montana has on Flathead Lake. Uh, there's three on the west side, which we were on, and there's uh, two on the east side, and there's one on an island out in the middle of the lake called Wild Horse Island. Uh, the island is actually home to some uh, wild sheep and some wild horses, believe it or not. Uh, there's the island right there. Uh, you can get to it by boat, and the, the one campground they have there, you have to ferry across on boat, but they say it's just really unbelievable. So... Uh, we headed on down the highway until we um, made the entrance to our campground. Must have had a lot of rain. Well, that's what I thought. Wow, what a view. Oh, I know. I'm just, this is worth just driving down here to get the video. Another water view. Beach. We got some smoked chicken gouda sausage links here. And we reduce some chicken five.
actually try that little thing too. Maybe over here. Uh -huh. Down the fence line. Right there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Almost I'm trying to go down there and get a drink of water, and the baby's like, I can't get to the fence, Mom. This place was a great find. It was recommended to us by some friends of ours that were from the area. It's called Camp Tuffet, and it's been in the same family for four generations. And as you can see, it's set up for family entertainment and camping and all original cabins. And uh, just, they had a little restaurant, they had boat rentals, uh, just unbelievable. And this is on uh, Lake Mary Ronan. So as we got up there north on 93, we turned off at Dayton and went by Proctor as we're headed westbound uh, and then got on the uh, Forest Service Road that took us back here to Camp Tuffet. But uh, what a great time. We spent a couple hours here just kind of walking around, drinking a little coffee and uh, visiting with the folks that were working there. And uh, just a great atmosphere. And they were catching uh, they were catching salmon at this lake. They were averaging about 20 a day, they said, uh, I guess uh, between 12 and 20 inches. Then we got back uh, down on the main road and circled back around to the Lake Mary Ronan State Park uh, just to check it out. Uh, we were going to stay at a friend's house that night, but we did want to check out the park. And man, it was unbelievable.